What's up? This is Keith Robinson. Make sure you check me out and get on up August the 1st. My brand new single, Famous, August the 5th. You are logged in to MadameNoir.com. Prepare me, I don't know, because it was kind of, it's, it's, it's really different, although it's, it's in the same time area, it's the same music, but this is about a real person. So um, it, it, that makes it a lot different, because Dream Girls was fantasy, it was kind of depicted, you know, as if, you know, insert characters. This, we kind of represented actual people, but James Brown was about a real live person. So it made it more, uh, the stakes were a little higher, I thought, to, tell, to make sure we got the story right. So I think they were kind of different, actually. There's a, there's a lot of people. Um, Donnie, Donnie Hathaway is probably at the top of my list because I love his music, I love his voice. His story seems very, uh, there's still some unanswered questions, I think, the way that he died and so forth. So I kind of want to, I think it'd be an interesting person to explore. I got a new single coming out August the 5th. It's called Famous. It's the first single off this EP, the EP uh, Love Episodic, which will be out later this year. And I wrote the whole EP while we were shooting James Brown. So James Brown kind of inspired me to uh, put out which direction I wanted to go musically. It's very free form, soul, open live instrumentation, you know, real vocals, very soulful, like The Godfather. So uh, I'm excited about it. The singing definitely came first. I didn't really act until I came out to Hollywood when I moved out there with my singing group and I basically kind of fell into it. So uh, uh, music is the first love for sure. Well, when I was signed, well, I was in a group. It was me and two other guys. We met in college. We were called State of Mind. And uh, we got a deal. We got out of the deal. It was very brief. And uh, we decided to, you know, re-sign and really just move out to Hollywood and get another deal and come back home. I told my girl I'd be home as soon as we re-signed this deal. And that was, uh, that was 14 years ago. I think one feeds the other. I, I never feel torn between the two. I think. Um, Every scene has a, a rhythm to it, and every every song has an element of drama. So it's just, I just it's just two different ways to express yourself to me. So I don't ever I don't ever want to have to choose. I never I'm never torn. I just don't think you have to choose anymore. I think you know it, it, the way the game is. You, you know, an entertainer is an entertainer. You can't afford to be one you know one you know one note. You got to be multifaceted. So. You know, when you're shooting is a great time to write and record because a lot of times what I'm filming inspires me musically and uh, when you're recording, you know, it, it kind of vice versa. It helps you get into characters and so forth. So I think they both feed each other. You know what? I'm, I've come to grips with it. Um, for a long time, I would like try to move away from it. Like, you know, and that's like the only thing that people want to talk about is, is me wearing the green tights. So, but now it's like a badge of honor because it was, it's a, the most successful kid show ever, you know, in, in recording history, and uh, to be a part of it was pretty surreal. Looking back, the further I get away from it, the more accepting of it I am, though. I'm proud of the tights.